Oh, there's a snake in here. Like one of these things. <laughs> How did you manage to get the weather to be this nice? Right, well, we, we put the order in and yeah, they, they cooperated. Here's a big question. What do you have for the Cowboys? You know what? We've got lots of great things and in particular, lots of great shopping gifts for the Cowboys to purchase for their family and friends. See, family and friends, you heard that one. This is the place <laughs> you need to come to, Millville Market. Thanks for having us. We're going to browse around and uh, see if we can find something for, actually, for Mrs. Cowboy. Nice. That's the one we need to work on today. Great plan. You'll find something, I'm sure. It's warm here behind me. <laughs> yeah, that's a little hot there. I didn't know yeah. that you guys still do blacksmithing here in the in the prairie, hey? Well, I started making knives because every knife at the store was way too expensive. And then I decided to make my own and then I got into blacksmithing knives and stuff. You said a magic word, black garlic. Mm -hmm. Where we come from, that's quite a delicacy. It's been slowly heated over several weeks, so it caramelizes the garlic and converts the sugars in it and changes the flavor to more like balsamic vinegar and umami. Wow. Yeah, it's got the texture of a fig. Now we know where to get our black garlic. We made these in school in South Africa. For this steak. Is... You guys eat that much meat yeah. there that you make, oh, make it? Oh, believe me. Yeah, <laughs> we do. We wear them out. We're doing some traditional Italian street food. They call these bombettas. We are used to eating it just like this. We call it susatis. Uh huh. And it usually has a bit of a sour marinade to it. Okay. And I'm not sure if it's the same as the Italian version, but this is as good as it comes. Love it. You want that one? I'll I heat that this. up for you. Is, yeah. All right. Yeah. Awesome. This is good. Thank you. There's a lot of cleaning up in Canmore that's happening after the local elections. Are you involved in that? <laughs> We take recycled sporting equipment, we get it all from golf courses, ski hills and hockey arenas, turn it into toilet plungers and then we donate to sanitation. You know what you're missing though is I don't see a putter here. I've got a putter as well. Which oh, I've I got a putter. Oh, you got a putter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, awesome. got a putter. The no. slap shit, there we go. That's what I had sort of in mind. The hole in one. Do you see the hole in one? Yeah, it's not what you're thinking. I have a quick question. Yes? These pans at the back, you make these too? Yes. Yeah? All from scratch. Yep. I'm blacksmithing over 40 years. My grandmother used to have one of these until my grandfather died and then I had to bury him with, with the... He didn't hit him with that. That's correct. what I'm saying. Until he was dying, then they had to bury him with the pan. <laughs> Destroy the evidence. <laughs> we got a big problem. Oh, uh oh. We are so used to your mustard, nothing else tastes good anymore. <laughs> Do you get that yeah. often? Yes. We do. Yeah? We do, yeah. Because we bought a big one. You, you have did. one of those no, big ones here? No, we didn't bring them. If I'd known you were going to be here, I would have brought a two liter. What's the nicest scent that you think you, you're making here? I would go with oak moss bourbon. Oak moss bourbon? You don't need much. All you need is about two to three drops. And then yeah. you rub it into your skin. You can smell it. Make sure you like it. Mmm. 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 And then you just take about three drops and you push it into your skin, rub it into your skin, and then you take it over your beard. Yeah, and if you have anything left over, you can just put it in, around your eyes, into your hair. I'm going to be really, really shiny when, when I do all of it. <laughs> How are you, ma'am? I'm great. Good. What do we have to do for a candy stick? Oh, well, I know you've been a pretty good boy, so... I, I have good all... <laughs> Well, I, I know you're on the cusp. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, yeah, a little over, I would say, but he's, he's there. <laughs>